Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Verlin. I do a variety of videos and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So on today's video, this is going to be part two to my NCLEX experience. In my previous video, I talked about how long it took me to take my NCLEX, my journey trying to schedule it, reschedule my experience that day from entering the testing site to when I was finished. And I also gave you guys some insight about how I found out that I passed the NCLEX. Now on today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the three things that I did to study and prepare for my NCLEX. The first thing I did was I used Saunders. Now, this is the Saunders NCLEX prep book that I was given during nursing school. This is amazing. I would pick a subject and there's all kind of subjects in here in terms of like fundamentals, just trying to like get back to the basics, there's maternity, peds, geriatric, mental health, OB, it's all in here. So I would pick my subject. I would then go over the information in the book. Once I went over the information in the book, I proceeded to the online portion where there were questions supporting the information that's in the book. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert a short clip of how the Saunders version online works. Okay, so the first thing I do is go ahead and look for the Saunders book online. Then I go ahead and I go down to my student resources. And I go ahead and I open, you know, to get the online portion. I go ahead and I select study, content area, and I go ahead through, you know, the different areas and I'm just going to pick one. Let's go with this one. All right. So once I get the question, I go ahead and I read, you know, the question and the choices. I go ahead and look at my choices, select the ones that I think is best to answer the question. Then I go ahead and I select submit. And oh, I got those right. Move over and I look at the rationale. Once I look at the rationale, I try to read through the rationale. And of course, I take my notes. After doing that, I look at strategy and it kind of gives you tips on what to look for in the question and ways to pretty much help you break down answering the question to help you get a better understanding. I also, you know, keep that in mind for the next time I see that specific subject area. And once I'm done with that, that's pretty much how I use Saunders. So as you guys can see, that is how I use Saunders online. And one of the biggest tips I'm going to give you guys is when I got those rationales, I wrote it down. I don't care how many times I got the same rationale, I wrote it down. Because the more I wrote it down, it is the more I remembered it for the next time. So that is what I did after I followed up with the written information in the book. The second thing I did was 
I used a little bit of UWorld. Now, UWorld was the program that we used before graduation. We did have an NCLEX prep class, and UWorld was the program that our school provided for us to use for three months. So we did have it about 30 days prior to graduation, and then we had it after graduation. But once I graduated, I did not use much of UWorld because I was not gonna take my NCLEX right away. However, I was able to get access back to UWorld right before I tested, and I did test myself on UWorld as UWorld do have a pre-test to the NCLEX and it kind of tells you like what is your percentage of likely passing the NCLEX. So I did do that. The third thing I did, which this made the world of difference to me, was Mark K lectures. There are about 12 different lectures on YouTube that I listened to. I was told that you can't find them anymore. I'm not I'm not sure how true is that. So I listened to Mark K lectures pretty much throughout my whole day. When I wasn't in my book, so I wasn't on top of the computer, or if I just wasn't in the mood, I would listen to Mark K. And I wrote down the things that I heard him telling his students to write down. And I also reviewed those notes as well. That is probably the only notes I reviewed the two days prior to taking my NCLEX because I promised myself not to cram those 48 hours before. So the only information I really overlooked was the notes from Mark K lectures. So five months after waiting, or five months I would say after graduating nursing school, what I did to prepare for my NCLEX was Saunders, the hard book and online, UWorld, not too much, but enough, and Mark K. In 145 questions, I don't care what nobody said, I passed and I was done and I'm a nurse today. So this is just a little follow up from part one letting you guys know like what did i do how did i prepare how did i know that i knew what i knew although i was still second guessing myself but if you enjoyed my video please go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to my channel share it with your friends send it to your other classmates Okay, I'm almost done. Come tell them bye for me. So if you enjoyed my video, bye. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Leave a like, comment below, and go ahead and share this information with your friends. Send it to your other classmates. Send it to somebody that you know that's in nursing school. They may be looking for tips on how to study and prepare for the NCLEX. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs>